Common Sense of a Duke's Daughter, Chapter 250. Edward's Death Too. Even though he was imprisoned, Edward is still a royal. Their sins of having harmed a royal are so heavy that I don't think they can escape death penalty. Leticia was smiling. On the other hand, the three men trembled. Oh, I'm just saying. I supposed you guys already knew. Two knights ran out to escape this place before we imprisoned them. But in the direction they ran away, Rudy was ahead and blocked their escape route. Don't you dare. They pointed their swords at Rudy, who blocks their way. Rudy also pulled his sword quietly. Lady Leticia. He said, but his words didn't hold any meaning. Yet, Leticia grinned with a big smile as if she understood everything. At that moment, Rudy took a step towards them. And slaughtered in one swift swing of his sword. It was a dead end. Such an act as if to show the difference in power. Leticia looked at it without changing her expression. Yuri is indifferent. On this occasion, the person who showed the most reaction was an elder who followed Edward. He shakes like a falling leaf and gets frozen on the spot. Why? Why are you? Oh, I appeared here so suddenly even after you bribed me. But you recognized who I am in an instant. Leticia, smiled like a mischievous child. You're kidding. Why? Did you appear here today? No, this can't be. The men show astonishment on their faces. I knew your movements early on, I just leave it be for the time being. If so, did you mean that? You were expecting this to happen. No, I didn't think that my brother would try to free Yuri. Well, that saved time and effort. Rudy, catch these people. But, Rudy, it's fine. We'll be the only ones here if you take these people away. Please come and pick me up after you finish with it. Rudy took the people who were dismayed on the floor and took them out of the tower. The men have already lost all expectations for winning, so they didn't put any resistance. What is left is to bury Edward and imprison Yuri again, who is currently sitting at his side without moving. I'm embarrassed that I can only look in this situation, and Leticia who is silent on the spot. Soon. Yuri whispers in a small voice. First, you said that what happened saved you time. Did you originally intend to kill Ed? Oh, you didn't think you were good enough to continue using my brother right? Yuri's face was distorted by Letitia's question. Good. Answer. I think he should be executed sooner or later even if you didn't give a hand, but... Yes. I was going to do it. Yuri's astonishing expression is drawn by Letitia's ruthless words. How could you? He is your brother. We have never seen or talked before. But it is true. If so, why? It is necessary. In response to Yuri's fierceness, Leticia answers calmly. If I keep this brother alive, chaos will ensue. If this brother later tries to start a rebellion like the man mentioned earlier, it would be unnecessary trouble. This country can't endure a civil war Yuri. Didn't you want to destroy this country? You were trying to achieve your purpose no matter how much blood flowed. Is it not? You and me are completely different. You have sacrificed even those who are connected to you through blood. Yes, but, I'm a royal. If it's necessary to protect this country, I would let my heart turn stone cold. Leticia, thank you for waiting. Just in time. Rudy came back. Behind him are several knights. Oh, it's early. I handed over the rebels to the guards and came back. Well, very good. Now bring Yuri back to jail. And then bring my brother with you to proceed with the burial. Burn, Rudy. I will return. Good luck, Yuri. Yuri was shouting something. But Leticia turned away from her and ignored it. 
Me and Rudy followed her soon after. A new whistle sound comes down from the stairs. But unlike when we went up, no one speaks now. Leticia. Never mind it. I speak to her. What is it? Burn. Are you aware that Prince Alfred will be angry at this, and you participated in this matter? Yes. And no. Letitia's answer is so confusing. My brother wanted to get rid of them. When he comes back, he's going to get rid of them. But he will carry the guilt of having killed his brother, so I want to reduce the risk just in case he becomes soft, now that my brother is on the battlefield. Why? She smiled as if in trouble. Why do you ask why? Are you scared? I went down the stairs and went out of the tower. Despite the gloomy atmosphere just before, the outside was dazzling and sunny. But our atmosphere remains the same as before. I just want to know, why did you decide to proceed with your plan even when the blood was dripping from your palms? At my words, she stopped and looked at her hand as surprised. She was not aware of it herself. Blood was dripping from her palm. While Rudy smiles, she ties her hand with a cloth from her dress so that she can stop the bleeding. Why do you want to shoulder such a heavy burden? She looked firm at first. However, she soon opened her shivering lips with self-restraint. I cannot forgive you. I decided to act that way. Everything is my fault. I feel guilty. And you still chose to act that way. Yes. I can't stop anymore. This is the way of a king. But. For a moment she closed her mouth again. I want to do the least I can to help this country. I can't help it. The situation required this decision. I'm not regretting it. She said with a smile on her face. Rudy, please take care of that elder brother and bury him. Are you sure? There's no need to proceed with a public ceremony nor exposition. That man's testimony can certainly prove that brother is dead. No, this is good. I'm relieved. An exposition or public ceremony would most probably break you at this stage. Yeah, probably. Upon arriving at Letitia's private room, Rudy immediately left to execute her instructions. She sits in a chair, as if she is tired. Shall we bring you something? I took care of her like that. No, I don't want anything now. While denying it, she exhales heavily. I'll ask you questions that are difficult to answer. If you don't want to answer, just say so. What did you think about your brother's death? I thought about a lot of things. My memories of my brother, the state of the country while he had power. And all I got to know about him. She clearly speaks of her thoughts without wasting a single word. I was lucky, thanks to the people around me showing me the wide world. If not, I would have been his position. Quote. That's right. Sympathy, regret, but I can't allow myself to stop either, because to enjoy good luck simply is to look away from my sins. I bear a responsibility towards this country. She closed her eyes and seriously listened to my words. Why did you ask? Are we not going the same way? I dare you say it again. She laughed heartily. That's right. First, let's get back to government affairs.